and welcome again to the workshop. Today we have yet another unboxing video, the IG-11 from the Mandalorian. I've been highly anticipating all the figures from the Mandalorian that I've been ordered. This one has taken a little longer than expected, due in February, but has finally arrived here in July. I am super happy to finally have him here. And on the box we have a picture of the figure and an art band on the front. There's the list of credits. All right, well, let's take him out of the box and see what we have inside. All right, there he is, plastic sleeves removed, accessories taken out of the box. As you can see, he's got the normal art pose that comes with him and comes with the Mandalorian. Nice little poster feature if you want, but he's wonderfully painted. He's a wonderful piece that continues to grow my Star Wars collection, and he is just awesome. I'm glad I picked him up. He stands pretty tall. He stands really tall. It, it would seem, but he looks great. The paintwork, the, the metal, the copper, in the shoulders, down here almost like he's a little rusty. The weathering, it all looks fantastic. But with that down, we're gonna go and we're gonna move on to the accessories. Now he doesn't come with a whole lot, which is fine. He's only in the first season. He doesn't stick around for the second season, so you can't expect him to have a whole heck of a lot. He does go from assassin droid working for the guild uh, to a nurse droid at the end of the season. What he does come with is his base, which I didn't really care for. I mean, they could have at least put his, his footprints in it. But it's the same one as you get with the Mandalorian. But it does say IG-11 on it. He comes with the DLT-20A blaster rifle. Some wonderful detail. Great detail work, some rusting on there. It's definitely an aged weapon. But it looks really good. They did a really good job with the details on that one. And of course, one of my favorites, the E-11 from Battlefront. Not from Battlefront, but... One of my favorites on Battlefront to use was the E-11. But yeah, again, great detail work in the guns, or in the blasters. Even minute, minute details in the grip. And a great piece and then yeah his utility belts which I'll show you how they go on momentarily as I slip it off the cardboard There's a Velcro piece. I'll do that right now. And you'll slip it over. You slip it over. I'll show you that over here in a moment. Wonderful work on all that so far. And last but not least, his self destruct mechanism. This does light up. and flashes for when he was self-destructing on a couple occasions. Okay, now let's take a closer look at IG-11 himself. And there he is. He's not heavy at all. He's very... He feels like he could break in my hands right now. I mean, I mean the last toy I reviewed was an Iron Man. So... <laughs> so it's very... much 
much much much different weight 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 wise but he's got full rotation in his arms and only one elbow bend he won't it rotates up here so one one bend at the elbow and then he'll he can rotate his arm that way a full rotation I believe that's a full rotation device right there yeah, which is really cool that's the way it is for both arms just one elbow bend I'm a little worried about these you can already see that it's coming off there a little bit so um, one cool feature is that he does he is able to spin all the way around full 360 so you can have him in multiple poses assuming he stands <laughs> um, the knees again it bends one one position you can get his leg up at about a 90 and right there and his feet do have at least I read Yep, can swivel from side to side, which will be great for posing. I mean, he does have some grip on his feet, which is great. Uh, up and down. Fully like a robot, which is awesome. And then all the paint work that went into it, you can see splattered the rust the bronze now another cool feature if you didn't know already he lights up it's really cool and these things are fully rotatable or his his uh, space plates are fully rotatable they do full 360s. Um, his head only goes from side to side. Oh no, it does do full. His head does do a full 360. His head also does a full 360 to position it however you want. Again, it's got a clip, so watch out where you put it. And it's held in by magnet. And then this is where the self-destruct goes, also held in by magnet. You can see it in there. But overall, a really cool figure. Um, his hands, his fingertips do curl to grip the gun. His fingertips do curl to grip. His fingertips. Overall, really cool figure. Now his hands, they are jointed. So you can get a pretty wide open hand, open claw, if you will. So that, that's pretty neat. But yeah, I'll show you this the bandolier. Or the bandolier, the uh, Just goes in. Well, we've unstrapped it. Put the arm in the hole on the other side, and it'll go over his head. Just like that. And then you just strap it. Sorry. 
you strap it. It goes over, over the arm, over the head, through this side right here, through, over, and then don't forget to strap the back. It's also in the instructions if you feel like, if you're not one of those, if you're also one who reads instructions. Let me know what you all think down in the comment section below of this review, of this figure, whether you got them, whether you, whether you let them slide, because this figure is really awesome. And you should not have let him slide if you did. <laughs> if you like the show as much as I did. I know I'll be getting a quill when he comes out. I know I'll be getting the armor when she's finally released. Unfortunately, I did miss out on the heavy Mando. I don't know if, when, if, if or when I'll get him. But it's definitely on my radar. I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for him if he, if he comes up for a decent price. And not a heavy scalper price. And then, of course, Ahsoka Tano and, and Bo-Katan, all those figures, I'm sure I will be picking up because The Mandalorian was one of my favorite TV shows from Disney+. Plus. So, definitely looking forward to that. I'll do one more spin around. You can probably hear my kids in the background. But yeah, there you go. Again, awesome figure. But that'll do it for me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll catch you on the next one.